like on an endless adventure, we set out on our journey. As a family of four, we look to explore other cultures, food, music, life, and whatever comes our way. We aspire to find the beauty and humanity of the world while being able to share a little with others. Come follow our journey. We are Jason, Lenka, Alex, and Mia. We are the family on the run. recommended this to us. So we are officially in Kirstenbosch Gardens. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's supposed to be one of the most beautiful botanical gardens in the world and the setting is pretty dramatic. A beautiful cliffs around, lots of greenery. So far gorgeous. We're inside the park and of course the first thing that we start doing is walking up. How cool is this place guys? Awesome isn't it? found the tree canopy walkway and this thing actually moves when you walk on it. How pretty. Wow. So beautiful. Someone is really tired. <laughs> it's really hot today, Mia, isn't it? I have to say it's really hot day today. It's about 34 Celsius, which is about 95 degrees. And you really feel it. <laughs> this is where we are going today. So from here, Kirstenbosch all the way down to K Point. Made out of straws, just like the Maasai Boma. It's a very similar concept, and I'm pretty sure. The material is very, very similar. So we thought this is a corn and actually it's not. It's called sorghum and it's actually used to make a beer. There's so much to explore in this park. I don't think that you can do it in one day, but what's awesome is when you are, when you live here, you can come here really just to rest in a park and bring a picnic with you. Thank you. Did you guys like the botanical garden? Well, we're not done yet, but I'm really liking this place. Why? Because I love how much grass there is and I also love all the flowers here. So I have to say that I'm not normally the biggest fan 
of botanical gardens, especially the ones that are like indoors or greenhouses. But this is different. This is much more like a park. It's really beautiful. So Nelson Mandela visited Kirsten Bosch on August 21st, 1996. And he said, I am the happiest when I'm in the wild because I can listen. And he said that they did a remarkable job uh, with this botanical garden and he loved coming here. And I get it. on our way to Cape of Good Hope. We actually discovered this town called Musenberg and it's a place where you have those colorful houses that you see on pictures uh, right by the water and we will just take some pictures here because it, the backdrop is absolutely beautiful. So these little beach houses are kind of a trip. They have these little tiny stairs and you come in here and it's basically just a tiny little room. I would say it's good for changing, but there's huge gaping holes. So I'm not sure what it's used for exactly. So as cool as this place is, we still have about an hour drive left ahead of us to get to the Cape of Good Hope. So we're gonna get back in the car now, get on the road and continue to explore further south. As you go to the beach, you will actually pass this cool cafe. It's called the Fall Cafe and this is a perfect spot for families with kids because they have an awesome jungle gym here. They have swings. A jungle gym, all kinds of stuff. It's a pretty cool cafe. We are at the entrance of Cape of Good Hope and we are going to the national park right now. Just gonna pay some fees as usual. Nothing's free, ever. So the price to the park is a little steep unless you are a South African resident, which comes basically to third of a price. You have to pay the full price as an international. So you probably cannot see it, but we are driving on top of the mountain over there. That's where the Cape of Good Hope is. You gonna see Mimi? The southern tip of Africa. Just arrived, it's a bit windy, so hopefully you can guys hear us. You have two choices to go all the way to the top. You can either use a funicular or you can walk it. We're going to take the train up to the lighthouse. Are you excited? Yes, I'm so excited. Down there on that beach, there's a whole bunch of penguins. Can you imagine how many ships wrecked right on that beach? Unbelievable. All right, Alex, so when you go south of here, What's the next stop? Antarctica. 
That's it, huh? Yes. Pretty cool? Yes. Okay, so we are at the Cape of Good Hope. The first European who discovered the Cape was Portuguese explorer Bartolomeu Diaz in 1488. And when he came here, he actually named this the Cape of Storms. So you can only imagine how the weather was. He was actually on his journey to find the spice route to Asia. Unfortunately, he didn't make it that year, but he discovered one of the most important traveling spots for travelers from Europe to Asia. So right now we are leaving the lighthouse and we are venturing out to the actual point. So we're walking down towards where I guess the lightkeepers live or something. It's kind of a side trail on the side. But what's pretty awesome about this is there's not a lot of people here. And the hike is really epic. I mean, talk about a once in a lifetime experience. Okay, so before we were there, we were saying that was the tip of Africa, but actually, this is the tip of Africa. I cannot believe we are here. Oh my god, this is crazy. End of trail, literally. So we just finished the extreme end of the point of Cape Good Hope and now we are going to start making our way back inland. We're not exactly sure where but we're just going to walk on these paths and just kind of explore. Can you only imagine when the explorers came here from Europe and they found this tip of Cape Although Bartholomew Diaz uh, named this the Cape of Storms, a Portuguese king later on changed it to Cape of Good Hope. He wanted to make it a positive experience and attract more sailors in the area. white sand dunes all around. What did you like the most about today? I like seeing the sea lions and the penguins. Did you like the hike? Well, yeah, I liked seeing it. I liked hiking it because I saw the beautiful view. Park and then I go find a place to eat. But first, let us show you the beautiful town of Kalpe. Isn't that the only thing they serve here? Yeah, specifically they do. Also, it's Mexican and sushi, basically. First, we 
are starting with some miso soup. Alex, how is it? Girl,